Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to highlight items that are over budget in Microsoft Excel. Today's question comes from Lawson in River Oaks, Texas, one of my gold members. Lawson says, I'm putting together my year end budget report. I have the budgeted amount for an expense in column B and the actual amount in column C. How can I make it so that any items over budget show up highlighted? Well, Lawson, to do this, we're going to use something called conditional formatting. It's real easy to use. Let me show you how. Okay, here I've got a real simple budget sheet set up. I've got the category, the budgeted amount, and the actual amount. Now, what Lawson wants to happen is if the actual amount of money that you spent is over the budget, like this one here, he wants this to show up highlighted. So to do this, we'll use something called conditional formatting, right? It'll change the format based on a condition. So let's pick the top one here. I like to start at the top of the column. And let's go to conditional formatting. Now, there's all kinds of different conditional formats that you can use. I cover all these in my full classes. But let's go to highlight cells rules greater than. In other words, it's going to highlight the cell if the value is greater than some value. So click on greater than. Now, you can put an actual amount in there. OK, but I want to check to see if it's greater than the value in a different cell. So I'm going to click on that cell right there and notice it puts equals B2 in that box. And I'll hit OK. Now, this time it wasn't over budget, but let's say that it was. Let's put 2030 in there and look at that. It highlights it now in red. OK, let's put it back where it was and it's fine. Now, we could use the format painter and format paint that conditional format all the way down the column. So click on the format painter and then click and drag down the rest of the column and nothing happens. Why is nothing happening? You'd think that this one would now show up highlighted because 165 is definitely over 150. Well, the problem is if you go into the conditional formatting now and click on manage rules, it'll show you the current selection right there, the current selection, okay? The cell value greater than B2. It's stuck with B2. Why? Because B2 is an absolute reference. All right? An absolute reference says with those dollar signs, that means it's always going to point to B2, even if I auto fill down or use the format painter. So let's close this. Let's undo that. I'm going to hit undo a couple times. Undo, 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 undo. Okay. Should be gone now. Let's check it and make sure. Additional formatting, manage rules. Okay. It's gone. There are no rules in there. Now, this time what I'm going to do is the same thing, but I'm not going to use an absolute reference. I'm going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, greater than, just like before, click on that cell, but I don't want B2 there to have the dollar signs in front of it. So you can either manually remove them or press the F4 key a couple of times, and you'll see it goes to just equals B2. All right, now hit OK. And now if I grab the format painter and format paint down the rest of the column, look at that. It copies the conditional formatting, but it also brings down the row. If you want to learn more about these two things, I cover conditional formatting in my Excel beginner level two class and absolute versus relative references are covered in Excel expert level one. And there's links there. I'll put links down below in the description below the video. You can click on those if you want more information. Now, what if you want to see different colors based on how close to the budget it was? For example, maybe if it's within 20% of the budget, but not up to the budget yet, show it as yellow. If it's exactly equal to the budget, show it green. And if it's over budget, show it as red. How do you do that? I'll cover that in the extended cut for the members. If you want to learn more conditional formatting in the extended cut for members, I will show you how to have multiple colors for different conditions for your budget. Is it over half the budget? Is it over 80%? Is it completely over budget? Different colors for different levels. Plus, I'll show you how to make a conditional formatting search box. So you can type in the search, con search criteria here like Florida and it'll highlight all the Florida over here. All that's covered in the extended cut for members. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions and other perks. 
Gold members get access to download all of the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use and more. Platinum members get access to all the previous perks, plus all of my beginner full courses and one new expert course every week. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for Excel. I also teach Word, Access, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. Now, when you do sign up to become a member, I need you to email me and tell me I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access because that's on my focus for the past few years. However, I'm happy to add more Excel videos if I get more Excel members. So make your voice heard and I'll make lots more tech help lessons for Excel. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments that you have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon to select all and receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? If you're watching this video on YouTube, just click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other related videos, additional information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. If you have not yet tried my free Excel Level 1 course, check it out now. It's over 90 minutes long, and it covers all the basics of using Microsoft Excel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and it's free for all members of my channel at any level, even supporters. Just email me and let me know you signed up as a member. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by and check out my Excel forum. Be sure to follow my blog, and of course you can find me on Twitter and YouTube. And as always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. See you next time.